hello capricorns thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate so take what does and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising and venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you guys would like to book me for a personal ask me a question or just check out my horoscope page everything that you need will be down in the comment section below if i'm not doing personals the information probably won't be in the description box okay so let's see Today we're going to be doing something a little different. We are going to get some energy from your person. Let's see how your person is feeling, what they want to say to you, okay? It says, I don't like me, how can you? So your person is struggling with um, some self-esteem issues. And they're trying to figure out what the fuck you really want with them. If they, don't, if they really wouldn't want to date themselves. That's deep, right? Yes, it is. Extremely deep. How the fuck can you ask somebody, how can they like you? <laughs> So let's see. Spirit, please tell me what is going on with this person. We have the moon card, the eight of, the six of pentacles, and the empress. So somebody has some really, really deep emotions for you. Somebody wants to invest in you. Somebody wants to grow the situation with you. Okay? Yeah. I feel like somebody is maybe wanting to apologize. Could be a Sagittarius. Or this person is wanting to balance out the situation with you because they are feeling very lonely. I mean, even though they're abundant and they have their shit together, they're tired of being alone. They're tired of being with their hood rat friends. They're tired of being with everybody except somebody that they want to be in love with, okay? King of Pentacles. It's like I have everything, but I don't have my Queen of Pentacles. I don't have somebody to sit, you know, on his throne with me. But you are a potential because the Nine of Pentacles is just the Queen of Pentacles singing. Aha, bet you didn't know that. So the cool, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is you. And this King of Pentacles is looking for you to become their wife, to step it up. All right? So, Spirit, tell me how this person feels. How does this person feel about Capricorn? How does this person feel about Capricorn, Spirit? How does this person feel about Capricorn? Spirit, please tell me how this person feels about Capricorn. Spirit, please tell me how this person feels about Capricorn. Two of Wands. They're indecisive about you. They know they do, they do want to grow something with you, but they also don't know whether or not you're going to actually want to grow with them. It's like, I'm a force all by myself, but we're, oh wait, I'm good all by myself, but I'm a force if we're together. Hmm. Or is it, I'm a movement by myself? Yeah, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force if we're together. Baby, I'm good all by myself. Look at this, and then the Queen of Pentacles pop up. This per I've told you, this person wants for you to become, they have the Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles right next to each other. This person wants you to grow up, okay? They want you to step it up, all right? This person is like, you could take your time because maybe you are dragging your feet, but they're starting to feel like you're not really choosing them because you may be dragging your feet too much, Capricorn, all right? And I just said this person wants you to be the Queen of Pentacles. And then the Nine of Pentacles comes out again with the Queen of Pentacles. They really want you to step it up. They said you can't, little girl. Me, got to step it up. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Knight of Swords. They want you to hurry the fuck up, though. They getting tired of waiting for you to notice that you want them. They feel like you holding back. They're not telling you either. They are not telling you that they want you to move a all right? They sitting here waiting for you to move a day, and, and they're starting to feel like you're not going to never do it. And that's what's going to make them turn around and say, you know what? Fuck it. Now, if you don't want this person, cool. But they're starting to get fucking with their self-esteem, too. All right, so Spirit, tell me, what is the outcome? Outcome for Capricorn. Outcome for Capricorn, please. Outcome for the Capricorn. Outcome for the Capricorn. The world, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Oh, I see somebody getting a chance here. So I feel like somebody's about to get their fire up under their ass and get what they want. I feel like it's this person going for it. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Definitely not about to keep letting you drag your feet on them. 
What is your advice, spirit? What is your advice? Advice for these two lovebirds? <laughs> Let it happen. Get out of your head about it. Stop thinking everybody is going to do wrong or everybody is up for the worst or going to hurt you. All right? Stop expecting the worst from people and go for it. I know. Capricorns get the shitty hand sometimes, but y'all also deal a shitty hand to yourself. So, let's get one card from the Love Oracle. And it says, playfulness. To recapture romance... Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And, boom, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, bye, guys.